Hey, check that out. All right. So what is this thing anyhow? Well, as you can likely tell, if I get a little bit of sunshine on it, it is 3D printed. It's extremely lightweight, uh, very nicely printed, uh, I might add. Uh, I think everyone knows the old joke. The only thing better than owning a 3D printer is having a friend that owns a 3D printer. So uh, thank you, Kyle, for printing this and getting it out to me. But, uh, but what is it? It is a, uh, it's a handle, a handle replacement for the Elk antenna. So uh, here's the original or the provided handle that comes with the Elk. And it is not, uh, it's not particularly heavy. I mean, it's certainly heavier than this 3D printed uh, version, but it is definitely bulky. And that's one of the reasons I'm really interested in getting this thing installed. If you use your antenna like I do for satellite operations, uh, smaller is better, especially if you're packing to go on a rove or even just using it um, portably in the yard. So uh, we're going to get this thing installed and we're going to see how it, um, how it performs. Uh, this is going to be installed on an Elk uh, 2 meter 440L5. And uh, oh, one other thing I do also want to mention, uh, thanks to Kyle, he gave me the specific uh, item on Amazon uh, that you need to put a nice cushioned handle on this print. And as you can tell, it's a it's a nice tight fit. It's a perfect fit. It goes right to the bottom of the 3D print itself, and uh, it's not going to slide off or go anywhere. So uh, it's a great item. I'll add uh, this in the description. I'll also add the uh, print file if uh, others want to try to print this as well. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, so here we are at my uh, one of my favorite workbenches, which is tailgate of my pickup truck. Uh, my other one, as you guys may or may not already know, is the tailgate of the Gator. But uh, this looks like a pretty simple install. Let's see, the first thing I'm going to do is remove these rear elements. All right, very good. And let's also remove these screws. This is a super simple install. Couple of screws, a nut, and that is it. Okay, let's remove that washer. And this is where you can see the detail uh, of the print really start to shine. All right, I had to use just a little bit of force to get that on there, but uh, not bad. We'll get this plastic bolt back into place. And get it snugged back up. We're pushing on a little bit of a plastic or rubber identifier here, which is fine. I'm just going to back that up. That just uh, matches with the ends of the elements so that you get the proper element in the proper position, but that's okay. Okay. Go ahead and give this a little bit of snugness. Don't 
need to go too crazy. Excellent. Okay. Oh, let's get our screws back in place. These um, these elements alternate in terms of which of the pair is on the top, which of the pair is on the bottom. So I'll get these screws started and get them installed. Yeah, that's a great fit. I can tell this is going to be fantastic. It might even make this antenna packable for travel via air. I have to think about that. All right. Got those screws back in place. Let's get these elements on. Nice. Okay, I've removed the, uh, the two sets of elements that are closest to the handle to give you a better view of just how well this handle fits on the antenna. You can also see the holes that have been uh, opened up to allow the screws through where you pass the bottom set of elements. It's just really a great fit. No slop or play. Exactly what you want in a handle like this. All right. Well, that was a quick, easy, painless install. Uh, man, that's a great fit. Boy, I can tell you, this is going to be fantastic. It is a very snug fit. There's no play. The cushion grip is great. I'm excited. Now, it looks like I could also remove these little stubs, but um, I'll probably operate a little bit uh, as is at this point. Um, actually, those those stubs actually, uh, yeah, I think you could remove them. There are, between this spacer and this spacer, uh, it probably keeps the proper uh, separation between those, uh, between those beams, but, um, uh, you could even just cut them off if uh, you were ready to commit uh, to this handle. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to operate a couple of times today. We'll give it a try. We'll see how it, uh, how it performs. But my initial reaction is this, is this is a winner. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I'll drop in some footage here of some satellite operation just so you guys can see it in action. But uh, with that, it's time to get out of here.